Hi Simmers, welcome to Sims Create My Town. My name is Joy Eze. I'm going to be showing you an old chapel conversion. The building is owned by Patricia. She found these old ruins, paid a lot of money and had it converted into a really beautiful house for her and her daughter. That's the entry system. That's Patricia up front. You come in to the building that aways. There are a few balcony and patio adjoinments to this house because it's built on, well, it's four buildings joined together in order to achieve multiple level roofing. So that's the entry system. To the left is a lovely bathroom, guest bathroom, and a more private area for private functions. We have to the right a lovely L-shaped kitchen, the same shape as the bathroom downstairs, but I put two units together and they sort of join themselves together, creating the illusion of an L-shaped kitchen. This is something I keep trying to practice to get different shaped rooms than the usual squares in Sims Freeplay. But that's my L-shaped kitchen, which I think I'm really proud of. Um, and I think it's just gorgeous. I have a few plants that are outside, but when you look at it, it looks like it's inside, making it look really pretty with the designs I already have going in the bathroom and the kitchen. She's standing on a patio, um, but it's still indoors, as you can see. This is an old statue which she didn't remove. She felt it would add value to the house. And I think so, it does add value to the house. She kept it there and it looks absolutely beautiful in the space. There's a stairs to the left and to the right that lead up to a very short balcony. As I say, because it's a conversion, she didn't get rid of the stairs. She kept it for character and it worked out as a beautiful lookout. <laughs> I'm so proud of this look here. It's the same on the other side of the house, a little lookout. So if I tapped on that staircase and said use, she would come up that set of stairs as well and it would be a lookout. So those two staircases don't necessarily go anywhere. Straight through that door leads to a dining area. I use a lot of red colors to go with the old walls. It made it look really sharp, really beautiful, really elegant and expensive. She has a Scandinavian fireplace. I do believe in less is more. The features of the building, the old chapel, make it look very expensive. And coming through, back into the hallway, and into this door leads to a beautiful sitting room. There's a clock on the wall. And these stairs, which is one of the reasons I didn't take them off in this chapel, um, just accent the sitting room, the room spaces quite nicely. I have to try and turn that off. Um, so yes, looking at the dining with those stairs, it makes it really beautiful in my mind. And likewise, in this this space as well it just gives it a special effect when you look at the floor plan up these set of stairs either of the stairs lead to a landing taking you to the daughter's bedroom who has just grown from being um, a toddler into a preteen and so some of the toys are still there's still some attachment issues if you may <laughs> so that's the Pre-teen stroke toddler's room. She's not home at the moment. Uh, probably gone for a sleepover somewhere. And this is the door right opposite to the master bedroom for Patricia. Um, yes. If I come through these set of doors, it leads to a study. And the daughter is welcome to come through her door. It leads to the bathroom. For the family and again a toilet area is sectioned off for more privacy. I love the way I could look at this floor and see the rooftop of the entrance. I just think it's genius. 
even though I say so myself, <laughs> I'm hoping for a time when we, we would be able to have different layer roofing to, in building a house in Sims Free Play. Anyway, in Patricia's room, we have a staircase. It leads up to a very special space for the master bedroom, and she will take us there in a minute. It takes her to a closet space and a lavish bathroom, seating area, her jewelry, her makeup stand, her sink, uh, where she can take a bath in a jacuzzi style tub, and again, sectioned off areas for more private functions. This is the most expensive part of the house. The best setting price for the house um, is as a result of this space. I would assume that this is where the bells would gong <laughs> in the chapel for Sims, uh, Sims Free Play in my town. But anyway, they don't have the chapel anymore. It's been converted and she bought it. I think it's a beautiful house. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please tell me what you, you think. Leave a comment. Give us a tick. Uh, a thumbs up um, and subscribe. I really appreciate you and thanks for watching. I will be loading up more videos so do stay tuned. Thanks.